We're going 46, almost 50,000 miles an hour. And that's ground speed, not airspeed. Hello, and welcome back to another episode on symbol planes. So today we're going to be actually working with a cannon. Now, these were added a while back in symbol planes. I remember when they were added. And boy, was I excited about that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be making a video on, as a result of someone's suggestion they posted in the comment section. JMAT0062 said, can you try making a plane using the recoil of a cannon? And I said, yes, I'd love to do that. And I've not gotten around to do it, but today is the day we're gonna be doing that. Because it sounds like a great idea, and I actually had done this previously, but I've not made like a, a really good proper plane that I've uploaded to simulplanes.com. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's probably is gonna be in maybe a multiple part series, I don't know, but today we're definitely gonna get a functional plane done with the repulsion, cannon propulsion. <clears throat> so we're gonna need that to be facing backwards. But yeah, let's jump right in and start making it. So actually I'm gonna make the body first. Just, I can't stand this gaps there. It actually drives me insane. So I'm just gonna have to finish it up with Oh, I have such a good idea. How awesome would it be to make this thing an X-Wing? Yes. We're doing that. It's already settled. Alright, I'm just going to make sure that this actually flies with regular propulsion, and then we'll move on to the cannon propulsion. Oh, 
don't blow it. It doesn't get very much lift. Oh, and it's broken. Uh, oh. this way. Let's see how this thing works. Hopefully better this time. Okay, okay. Oh, oh goodness. It is responsive on that uh on that roll control. This thing looks the design looks cool. Obviously it looks terrible with the default cockpit and color scheme, but we're going to work on that. This video is not for aesthetics. This is just getting it working. I need to turn down that roll. It's insane. <sighs> Torpedo. Oh, boy. Low flyby. All right. Now that we know that that works, let's add what's going to make this video get viral. <laughs> Probably not, but the cannon. Cannon, cannon, where are you? Weapons, not propulsion. Weapons. Okay. So, I'm going caliber. Caliber. Okay, so it looks like the larger size is like, okay, so that size is a pretty good size. But we need to shrink the back of this thing down a little bit. Hang on. Ooh, that lines up very nicely. Although it's kind of a hard connection point, so what I'm going to do... There. That looks much smoother. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> the muzzle brake, dude. Uh, I don't think that's gonna stay on there. It'd be kind of funny if it did, though, but that defeats the purpose. You actually want more recoil, and what a muzzle brake does is it throws the gas back to reduce recoil, so... We don't want that. The barrel, the base length, that can be... Shrunk down. The barrel length can be shrunk down. I like some barrel. That looks nice. That. That looks serious right there. That looks serious. And then we want projectile velocity to be all the way up. Because that will increase recoil. We'll put the ammo count for now at that high point. We'll put the firing rate to the lowest possible, or the highest firing rate, which is least second delay. Uh, we already set the length, muzzle break off. Recoil, barrel recoil, that is what affects if the barrel goes in and out when you shoot. I don't think we want that. Recoil force, that can go all the way up. Tracers, no tracers, that's good. We don't want any cameras either. I would say they should not be explosive, probably. And slug or sphere? I don't know. I'd say slug, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Multi-rolled. 
man as well. <clears throat> so let's try this out. Okay. So we activate these. You can see there is an aiming uh, line here. And then if we fire them, oh goodness. I should put the landing gear up. Dude, we're going like, we're going 3,000 miles an hour already, and I haven't even, okay, we're shaking though. It does not like that fast of speed. So it starts shaking at like 300, 3,000 miles an hour. So I think we went a little bit overboard on this uh, recoil. So we don't need quite that much recoil. Maybe like a hundred. And now we're gonna do some other modifications. Like make the cannon launch volume lower because it's very loud right now. If we put the projectile lifetime to zero, they won't even render out the barrel, so you won't see the bullets flying out, so it'll look cleaner. And then the flash scale is how big the fireball is, and that is, is it would be cool to have some fireball, but I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit, because we don't need quite that large. Uh, flash space local, or you can make it, I think it's world or something, and that makes it like it stretched out as you go faster. The only problem is we'll be going so fast that, and we can put the impact damage to zero so it won't actually do anything. Basic scale, velocity, and we've got firing delay. We can put the 0 0.001. I don't know, well, I'll just do 0.01. I don't think my computer's gonna load it faster than that. See how this is. Oh. You don't even hear him. You can see the bullet coming out of the barrel when you hit the... Okay, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's also kind of weird that you only see it firing Dude, we got... Oh, we're out of ammo. Uh... That was another thing I to do. So yeah, let's have the firing delay maybe not be that crazy because that causes some issues with it loading properly. So we'll just go 0 0.05 and we'll have the, the ammo be, uh, you know, casual, whatever that is. 100,000. Million, ten million. Okay, it's a hundred million. A hundred million. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, we're not gonna be running out anytime soon. Yes, that's the sound effect I wanted. Uh oh, won't take off. The propulsion's kind of pushing it into the ground. So one thing you can do is put this cannon on almost like a rotary system that moves it, tilts it up a little bit. To give you more because right now we're not getting we're not getting lift i guess if you if you do it slowly it works
All right, so I need to reduce that roll control because it's kind of crazy. Nice. So yeah, if you just bump the thing, it doesn't, it takes off pretty well. How's the low speed control for this thing? Probably not super great. All right, let's go fast. So like 4,000 it starts shaking at low altitude. But if we start climbing, all right, we're at like 60,000. We're going 10,000 miles an hour. That's, oh boy. <clears throat> okay, if you touch the roll, it's instant teleports you in circles. All right, we're at 70,000 feet, we're going 13, thousand miles an hour. That's crazy. Once again, roll's ridiculous. We're still climbing. All right, we're a hundred thousand feet and we're going 18, 19, 20,000 miles per hour. We're probably broken some record at this point. I don't know. <laughs> Look at the clouds. They're like, what the heck? We're time traveling at this point. 30,000. Also, we have no more lift on the wings anymore, so we're actually falling. Actually, we just lost all... We're going 46, almost 50,000 miles an hour. And that's ground speed, not air speed. So we're super high and going super fast, and there's no more lift because we're basically... We would effectively be out of the atmosphere at this point in space, but this thing still makes propulsion no matter where you are in the atmosphere. So yeah, on this note, uh, I think this is going to be it for this video. Sorry if this is making you a little nauseous to look at the clouds go by that fast. I can look down. <laughs> but thank you for watching. This is not the last episode on this vehicle, this plane we're making. I'm going to make it actually look pretty in the next video, and I'm going to upload it to simpleplanes.com so you can download it and mess around with it. Or Keep your eyes out for that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.